So the Nintendo Direct for August has passed, PH Brazil's Nintendo Direct leak was right and it seems that Nintendo Switch has gotten some more interesting Nintendo Switch games to fill in the spots between now and the Nintendo Switch 2 release. Even games for 2025 which is kind of shocking because usually what Nintendo likes to do with their Nintendo Directs around this time is set up the next 6 months and sometimes even flesh it out a little bit more. But now we know the Nintendo Direct for August exists and it has passed. I thought it was pretty decent, not the best Nintendo Direct in my personal opinion, I'm curious on what you guys think, I know a lot of people love some of the reveals there. But anyways, the discussion has moved from is there going to be an August Nintendo Direct, like PH Brazil said, to is there going to be a September Nintendo Direct. I think the reason why some of us Nintendo Switch owners are wondering if there's going to be a September Nintendo Direct is because Nintendo usually does a September Nintendo Direct. And not a partner showcase or anything smaller than that, they do a full blown Nintendo Direct and all we got was a partner showcase. It feels as if Nintendo just wanted to get these two Nintendo Directs out of the way, the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase and the Indie Nintendo Direct. Another thing I've noticed is that there wasn't a lot of big games there, right? I'm not saying the games there were bad, I'm just saying it's not the big Nintendo Direct that we usually expect around this time. It feels like Nintendo was holding back. Now one could say that's because of the Nintendo Switch 2 maybe, which I'll get to that, but it really does feel like Nintendo has a lot of games stacked up. I mean, especially when it comes to Wind Waker and Twilight Princess and other remasters and ports. Things that should be on the Nintendo Nintendo Switch, but Nintendo just hasn't done them for some reason. Like, we've gotten a lot of remasters and ports, and a lot of them are like, wow, Nintendo will more than likely do this, why haven't they done it, right? Other than Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, I'm sure you guys have your picks and wants and just stuff that Nintendo probably, you would think, do by now, or did by now. Like Metroid Prime 2 and 3, which again, we'll get to that as well. But with the August Nintendo Direct confirmed, we can now use that new info to try to figure out what Nintendo's plans are, which is something I just absolutely love doing. I love doing videos that uses theories and just pass information and kind of guess what Nintendo is uh, doing. I don't know, I kind of find it fun. So one thing to keep in mind is that some of the big Nintendo IPs coming in the next couple months. We of course have Echoes of Wisdom coming next month and then it's followed by Super Mario Party Jamboree in November and October has Mario and Luigi Brothership. An interesting thing here, not that I know of anyways, I may be missing a game, but there isn't really a big Nintendo Switch game in December. Actually, when you look at a lot of the third party games, a lot of them actually aren't in December, which is really weird to me. So I feel like in this September Nintendo Direct, Nintendo could do something pretty interesting and release another game. I mean, even Donkey Kong Country HD is also in January, not December. You would think Christmas month, they would have one big game that releases in the beginning of the month, just in time for the holidays. It's kind of weird if you ask me. And I think if we do end up getting that September Nintendo Direct, I think it's going to be announced there, something for December, which could be pretty cool. Now, I don't know what exactly they could do anyways. We already have a Mario game coming, we already have a Zelda game coming, I'm wondering if this is the spot that they're going to use for those ports. Whether it be a Wind Waker or HD or Twilight Princess or something like that, or maybe Metroid Prime 2 and 3. Or maybe Nintendo will wait until we're closer to Metroid Prime 4 to release Metroid Prime 2 and 3 to get people ready for the game. I think that would be also smart as well. And maybe Wind Waker and Twilight Princess will be for this December. Or maybe this is just the Wind Waker fan inside of me just wanting the games. I don't know. It is still kind of weird, other than ports and stuff, that there's just nothing in December, or not that I know of anyways. I may be missing a game. Again, if I am, correct me in the comment section below. Unless it's like a third party indie game or something. And we know that Metroid Prime 4 is a 2025 game. They're not going to be giving a release date before that. We don't know the exact release date for Metroid Prime 4, but I'm assuming it's going to be for a launch title for the Nintendo Switch 2, because that's also coming in 2025. Or at least launch window title, at the very least. Although development has restarted on it, so that's also something we have to keep in mind that maybe it could take a little bit longer. Because when it comes to 2025, it's pretty unknown. I think we can guess that the Switch 2 is going to be part of that lineup of games, of course. I don't think Nintendo's going to wait too far into 2025 to release the Nintendo Switch 2. Although I do have to say, if we don't get that Switch 2 reveal in by August, not August, I don't know why I said August, by October, I think then we can kind of guess, okay, maybe the Switch 2 is going to be released a little bit later into 2025 than we all expected. The Nintendo Switch 2 sales for software and also hardware are dipping pretty significantly, so that's what makes me think that Nintendo wants to get that Switch 2 reveal out more faster than usual, or 
or sooner rather than later I should say. And what adds to that idea of Nintendo wanting to get it out sooner rather than later is combining these two Nintendo Directs. I also think a September Nintendo Direct would be a great time to show off games like Echoes of Wisdom. You can have that in the beginning of September, which would absolutely be kind of crazy because then we would get that Museum Nintendo Direct and then the August Nintendo Directs and then also a September Nintendo Direct, which would be a pretty good lead up to an October reveal for the Switch 2 if you ask me. And then not only does Nintendo have plenty of games leading up to that Nintendo Switch 2 release date in 2025, but also games to keep players busy on the original Nintendo Switch. Having a healthy lineup of news, games, and overall just, you know, interest in your brand. I don't know, I think that would be a smart idea. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Now, it's not just Echoes of Wisdom as well. There's other games leading up to that, like Mario and Luigi Brothership. We haven't seen too much gameplay from that. I think we can get a better look at that at the September Nintendo Direct if Nintendo doesn't want to go the Echoes of Wisdom route. Which, by the way, when I say Echoes of Wisdom route, what I mean is showing small trailers here and there with new gameplay, because Nintendo has been doing that. Which, speaking of that game, if anyone's still watching this video, I know usually about halfway around the mark, usually people drop off on the video. For that specific game, I am going to be doing an animation, and here's like a tiny look at what I was talking about on stream when we were watching the Nintendo Direct, having my character jump into the game and just play through it, and I'll be animating that character. So here's kind of a, I guess, concept art, you can say? Or just an idea on what kind of look I'm going for when it comes to these kind of videos, these bigger animations. But anyways, yeah, I think this would be a great time to show off those games. And then after the September Nintendo Direct, and maybe even in the September Nintendo Direct, I think that would be pretty cool to kind of tease the Nintendo Switch to reveal, say, hey, come back in October, and we're going to be showing off the Nintendo Switch 2. I think that would also be cool. Nintendo really likes to hype people up, so I'm really excited to see how they're going to go about this. Now, when it comes to the Nintendo Switch 2, according to PH Brazil, who was right about the Nintendo Direct in August, they did say that there was going to be more Nintendo Switch news after this Nintendo Direct. So I think October is going to be when we're going to see that Nintendo Switch 2 reveal. So a September Nintendo Direct that shows us some new games that can fill up the next six months, and then also giving us more gameplay for games like Echoes of Wisdom and Mario and Luigi Brothership. And then in October we can get the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal, and then we'll all be very excited by playing all the games that they showed off and just speculating on what the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be like when we finally get our hands on it in 2025, which I think they're going to do it in like March or April. I think it's going to essentially follow the Nintendo Switch 1. Again, Nintendo likes to do what works and apparently that's what works. I'd actually be curious, well, I guess back then with the Wii U and the transition to the Switch, that was a little bit different, but I'd be curious if we actually did have two Nintendo Directs very close to each other right before that first reveal of the Nintendo Switch 2. I'll have to go back and look. But yeah, let me know what your guys' theories are for the September Nintendo Direct. Do you think we're going to have one? Do you think maybe we're not going to have one. Maybe you think they're just going to throw everything into one large Nintendo Direct for the September Nintendo Direct or October Nintendo Direct, and we'll get both of them at the same time. The Switch 2 reveal and the next Nintendo Direct. Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. And while you're down in the comment section, or if you're still watching this video and not correcting me on my probably dumb mistake, I want to say thank you for reaching this video this far, and um, well, here's a cookie. For those who don't know, YouTube considers cookies potentially inappropriate for some reason, so let's spam those cookies in the comment section. I want to see pages among pages just go wild with cookies in the comment section. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.